Hello and good morning. Welcome to your daily tarot read on Monday, the 26th of February 2024. I'm Hem from Self Love Self Care System, and I'm doing our daily tarot read today from this deck I found called the Royal Tarot. So there are those. Okay. Now, you can tell a little bit of a story about me. I've been reading tarot cards since I was like 11 years old. So I found these and I have no idea who they are. I have no idea why I have them. But I thought, you know what, let's just do a reading. So I do give credit to whoever made them, but they, you know, and I don't know where they came from. So um, if anyone knows, it'd be great if you popped it in the comment. But for today, we're going to have our, for this week, we're going to have our readings from this deck, which is the Royal Tarot deck. I don't, know. I don't know it's like a free one you get with something but but let's see let's see what we get so are you ready so what i do guys is i get um i get okay well, i'm getting three <laughs> i get me loads of cards i get a reading for the energy of the day i get one card for the energy of the day they want to give me one card They're trying to give me about 10 cards okay <laughs> there we go one card for the energy of the day we've got we get a card to see if there's a problem for the day um they keep giving me three cards which is like i think these have not been used before you know i did tap them to cleanse them so we should be all good and i, I run them through my cleansing meal and a solution if there is one as well so let's see they're quite basic cards but i thought hey ho, let's just try them as i've got them and see what they bring us and see if they give us anything different to what we've been getting up until today so let's have a look so the energy of the day Ooh, you got the Queen of Wands. There you go. This is the Queen of Wands card in this deck, which is called the Royal Tower. So let's see what the angels want me to tell you. It's really interesting, actually. It's really interesting when you do different cards because you get this different energy from them. And this particular one is... It, okay, I'm going to tell you exactly what the angels are telling me because they're literally here and they're literally telling me specific information. They're saying to me to say, it's kind of like, if you look at this, this is like the club symbol. Okay, so the first thing they're talking about as they say this is that you want to rise into your higher vibration, which is when, in this queen energy. The queen energy is always good, even though she looks a bit melancholy because I think she's feeling a bit that way. But that's fine because the energy here is of you being in your higher vibration. Maybe you haven't quite absorbed that higher vibration yet. Maybe you're still feeling like in the energy of, say, the, the, the a night energy, that kind of thing, sort of lower energy vibration, okay? And the angels are saying to me to say that it, you are in that queen energy and you have tapped into it. Now, they're asking me to talk about taking some time for reflection because... It's the wand, right? They're asking me to say to you, this is about you committing yourself to checking in with what you really, really want. Yeah, the angels are saying to me, they're saying, guys, you literally are on the precipice of, of new discoveries. Yet it's, it, it's really important today, today on the 26th, for you to give yourself that moment to look at what really is happening now we have just had our full moon so that could be it and i i get the energy of planning working out looking ahead seeing what you want now i'm getting this in the sense of the summer the sort of spring summer is going to bring you something but you it's about planning so being in this strong vibratory energy of the queen Okay, I know what they're telling me now. I was trying to understand what they were saying to me. So I thought they were saying she was moody. No, that's not what they're saying. What they're telling me is that you almost seem a little bit like jaded, like you, okay, it's not happening. But they're telling me to tell you it, it's still a planning. You're still in that planning energy vibration. So you need to get it right. And you've just kind of pulled the curtain across. That's how I'm seeing that. It's like you kind of pulled the curtain across and go, oh, I can look now. But then you've looked out and you've gone, oh, there's nothing there. <sighs> like that, you've got looked away. You've kind of gone like that. But you are looking forward, which is a good thing. You are contemplative, which is a good thing. You are opening the door to something. So something's really, it, it, it is good. It is good energy. But the angels are telling me to say to you, you need to communicate to yourself 
Yeah, does that make sense? Communicate to yourself what you would want next. Journal this, talk about this, write about this, seek this. Find this in your chemistry. Find this in your makeup. Look at what you need. Yeah? So, yeah, I, th I think that's really, really key for today, for the 26th of February. Okay? Right. Now, let's see the problem with them as well. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. These are quite basic, these cards, as I said, but I did want to do them for this week, so I thought it'd be quite interesting. So, you've got the Four of Cups, and I know why it's come as a problem, because, so you've got this, which is you needing to, and remember this is inward, this is inward, this is you re-clarifying, repurposing, understanding what you need, understanding what you want, okay? By writing it down, expressing it, and, you know, really going inwards and finding out what works for you, that kind of thing. And then you've got this, and, and you could say it wasn't a problem card, but the angels are saying, well, actually, it kind of is. Because what they're saying to me is that something isn't balanced. And normally cups are relationships, so it could be relationship, but they're actually saying that something isn't balanced in your life. So in order to understand this, this needs to be balanced, okay? So it needs to be balanced out. It needs to be effectively balanced. And once it's balanced, it's going. you're going to be able to make sense over here. But although I don't get it, Angel, because I can't see why. Okay, they're saying to me to do another, well, I feel I need to do another card, but they're saying to do another card so they can re-clarify it for me. Because I don't understand what they mean. <laughs> no, sometimes I just don't. Sometimes they give me a card and it just doesn't clarify what they mean by the problem. Okay, they just doubled it up and given me the Eight of Cups. Okay, can you explain to me what you're saying, Angel? So they've given me, it's almost like they've doubled it up and said, here's Eight of Cups, actually. So where could it be a problem? How could it be a problem for them elevating themselves? Oh, interesting. Okay, I got it. I got it right. It makes sense now. So. You've got this energy. This is really asking you to plan. I want to say this again. It's asking you to plan, to understand, to look where you want to go. But I get the impression that your relationship, the foundation, and then the way it works, and the people that you're with, and the way that things are for you, there's a, high, there's a certain type of expectation. Um, and maybe they don't stay here. Cause it's kind of, this is kind of now thinking, planning, forward, reaching, but it's not going there. It's understanding before you're moving. This is moving maybe before you're understanding. And the reason they doubled it up to the eight is because they're saying to me that it's like, it's one thing on top of another. You keep adding. So you could be in this problem. You may not resonate with this problem, because okay? so that's fine if you don't. But yeah, it could bounce on top of one on top of the other, okay? So they're saying be aware of not giving yourself the space to actually understand what you want, yeah? And they're saying this is on the level of uh, uh, not allowing something that isn't supporting you to add more on top of what you're thinking so that you get confused, okay? And let's see what the solution is. Okay, so they've given me the three of pentacles for the solution. I actually understand it. Normally I'm like, what do you mean? And it's like just such a simple answer. But I get it. What they're saying is you need to be in kind of focused joy energy and you need to be connected into your body, your mind and your spirit to, to not be taking on problems and hiding them on top of each other. I want you to remember this is forward think this is forward thinking within relationship. It doesn't necessarily necessarily have to be romantic, but it's within relationship of some kind, okay? And this is saying no, you want to go into your body, your mind, and your spirit, and you want to let that lead the way, not anything outside of yourself. Okay, my lovely, so there you go. That is your reading for today, for the 26th of February, 2024. Take care of yourselves, everyone. Do give me a thumbs up if you liked it, because I'd be really grateful for that. And if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do subscribe, because that would be just wonderful, and I'd be really, really grateful. Um, if you got this far, maybe pop in a comment, let me know how you found these new cards, which are a bit different. I'm not sure what I think about them, but you know, there's something that gives a bit of an idea of what's going on. Um, and have a beautiful Monday, the 26th of February. Take care of yourselves, and I'm sending you so much love. Namaste, big kisses, and I will see you tomorrow. That's love. Bye.